Welcome to another vlog from the way we saw it from Oaxaca City. Actually, we didn't want to make another vlog from Oaxaca City because we made already so many, but <laughs> today we are heading to a few museums. There are so many museums and galleries and photo exhibitions and things to see. And tonight we booked a table at a really fancy restaurant with local specialities. So we thought, ah, let's do a quick vlog. Maybe this one is just gonna be a few minutes. So let's see. Let's head to the, first we go to the... To the, to the painting museum, the painting, <laughs> local painters. To the local painters museum. Museo de Pintores Oaxaqueño, uh, abbreviated MUPO. This is a museum that exhibits art from the Oaxacanian uh, painters. This is a really beautiful museum. It's lo mostly local painters from, from this area, from Oaxaca, and the entrance is free. It's located in a beautiful old uh, colonial building. I think it's maybe even two buildings because it's so big and it's on two floors. So definitely stop by. It's just next to the Zocalo, so very centrally located. was the MUAC, the Museum of Art Contemporary. I hope I said it right, but the, actually it's the Museum of Modern Art. And it's, it's a quite big uh, exhibition for, for this small building. It's like two courtyards on two floors. There's a beautiful yard with beautiful trees where you can just chill and relax. And on Sundays the entrance is free. And we have been here already last time, but this time every exhibition was different. It was a little bit depressive, I think, because it was about, uh, about the, the end, end of, of the, the world. world, kind of. So it was some video projections were a little bit strange, but I mean, that's more an art, so you have to be open for this. And uh, it's really cool that they have, I wish, that we would have a museum like this in Zurich. I mean, here they have only 260,000 people living in Oaxaca. And in Zurich we are around 400,000 now, if I'm not mistaken. So it's pretty cool that there are so many museums here. So now we're heading to the next one. Now we came to a coffee place which is new. We used to go here in another same name place where we had the first breakfast when, uh, ever when we were in Oaxaca. And this coffee here smells so good. So we had to take a brownie to, to accompany it. This was the Instituto de Artes Graficas de Oaxaca in a beautiful old mansion house and it has a small exhibition about graphic art 
this time about oppression and repression. On the Plazuela de Carmen Alto, behind me, there's a little market on the end of the week that sells artisan stuff that is not tacky. Very beautiful things. Now we are back in our beautiful Airbnb house. I think there are many Airbnbs here. And we'll pack a little bit our stuff because tomorrow Marty will head to another destination and I will explore a little bit more the city and tonight we go to the restaurant. I will tell you more about this restaurant tonight. We are now on our way to the restaurant and actually this restaurant, the name is Grillo. 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 <laughs> Uh, maybe some of you know the restaurant Pujol in Mexico City, which is one of the 50 best restaurants in the world. And they opened a uh, dependance, or how do you call that, a little restaurant here in Oaxaca City. And we got a table, so we would like to try, or we are going to try it tonight. And maybe you saw also in this vlog, there were so many uh, blooming trees. So right now it's Spring in Mexico. So a um, lot of trees that don't even have leaf, but leaves, but they have the most amazing, beautiful flowers. Now you have to translate it into English. I have no idea. So the tacos are with chicharron, and chicharron is actually fried pork skin on avocado. Yeah, and, um, and bean paste. And in the bowl, it's uh, corn. Different corns. With, I don't know. Yeah, sauce. I guess. So the next course has arrived, which is actually a gazpacho from local tomatoes with basilicum. And there's a sobe inside with, uh, made from beetroot and some croutons made from Wakakanian bread. So bread from this region. Bon appetit. So the next course has arrived, which is uh, tamales, which is a typical Mexican dish, of course. With inside, I uh, mole of almendras. Uh, uh, mole of almendras. This is mahi mahi with uh, pipian and ap uh, apple mousse and chili sauce and the cilantro, of course. This is a Mexican tortilla with turkey inside and uh, hoja santa, holy leaf, mole typical mole with 37 uh, ingredients one of them is chocolate and parsley and onion bon appetit the pre-dessert the function of the pre-dessert is to take the salt away from the mouth 
and to prepare the mouth for the dessert that's coming after. And this is made from cactus fruit called tuna and it has red berries on top of it. So the dessert has arrived, the second dessert actually, and this is uh, some kind of cracker. And then there's, I don't know what this white cr actually is, I have to cheese. try it. Cheese, okay. Yes. And then there's like a fried banana, there's a mousse, the banana, and this is a coffee ice cream. This was our take on Oaxaca on its cultural side with a few museums. There's much more than this, trust me. And on the culinary side, this was a new restaurant for us. Oaxaca is a culinary mecca and Oaxaca City is a center of that culinary mecca and Criollo is one of the best restaurants here. Uh, thank you for watching. Safe travels always. See you soon. Bye.